if you are new, I am African Bella, The Real Talk. I talk of relationships, fashion, beauty, and life experiences in general. So please subscribe to this channel. For today's video, it is a story time, guys, and it is how I got arrested and stayed in jail for three hours. Can you imagine, guys? Do you want to know the whole story? Why I stayed in jail? Please watch this video till the end and make sure you don't skip anything at all because it is very interesting and a lot of things to learn from this story. So let us start. So guys, before I start today's story, I want you to always keep in mind that life is so unpredictable and never say never. Or never say that this will never happen to me it has happened to the other friend but me it will never happen to me because we don't know what comes our way and we should always be prepared for whatever comes our way this will help us be strong and overcome anything that comes in our way so friends sometimes back I had a job and my job was money related I used to collect money from the groups of people every day. So we had groups of people from Monday to Friday. And my job was to be in charge of these groups and make sure that the money that was supposed to be collected is correct. After collecting this money, these groups had leaders. So the leaders could take this money and deposit to the bank. After depositing to the bank, they could bring the receipt of the deposited money to me the next week when I go. So the process was that. So it was time for group Friday to collect the money. I left the office and went to the group. There were 50 in number, these people, and it was around 10 in the morning we collected I collected the money from everyone and the amount was correct so I signed that the money the amount of the money was correct and gave it to the leader of the group because she was the one in charge of depositing that money to the bank so after collecting the money everyone left and I was supposed to go but before I left it started raining so I had to stay a little bit so that the rain can stop so I stayed there with the leader and we chatted and laughed you know <laughs> but not so much because I could maintain my position <laughs> I wasn't supposed like to socialize a lot due to the job I used to do so we talked a bit and had a little bit of conversation and the rain stopped so I left and returned to office so I remember it was on Wednesday when I received a call from the accountant telling me that the group Friday did not deposit the money that was supposed to be deposited to the bank I was really shocked I didn't know what happened but I told them let me call the leader and ask because we collected the money and everything went well. I don't know what happened. They told me okay. So I communicated with the leader immediately and asked her why is that the money is not deposited to the bank. And she said no, I deposited the money. Maybe it is due to the network. That is why you, not, you are not seeing the money in the system just wait for some time you will see that money that it was deposited because i even have the receipt i told her okay so i returned the call to the accountant and told her that i can assure you the money was deposited maybe it is due to the system of the bank that is why that money you cannot see it but let us wait for some time we will see that money so guys it reached thursday the money wasn't there so the accountant called me again and told me to make sure that 
When I go the next day, which was Friday, I should take the receipt of that money because in the system it is not there. I told her, okay. So Friday came and I went to the group as usual to collect the money. So when I reached, I told the first thing that I told the leader of the group, I told her, please give me the receipt of that money because it is giving me a lot of stress. She told me, it's okay, let me bring it. So she went inside because where we used to have this meeting, it was near her house. So she entered in her house and came with a receipt. But she told me we had a fight with my husband and I lost the original receipt. So I have the copy of the receipt. I told her it's okay, even if you have the copy, that's fine. If the money is there, we will see it. She told me, okay. So we collected the money and we finished the meeting and I returned to office with my receipt. So guys, my boss held a meeting and she ordered me and my supervisor on Saturday to go to the bank and make sure if the money was really deposited. So she told us to go with the receipt, the copy one, and show it to the bank manager so that they can control and see if the money was really deposited. Because the leader continue, continued to insist that she deposited the amount. So Saturday came and we went to the bank. It was really in the morning at 8 30 we are we arrived at the bank and we asked for the bank manager we went and talked to the bank manager and the bank manager called the bank teller and showed the receipt but do you know what guys this woman really fooled the all of us because when the bank teller looked at the receipt the stamp of the receipt had a date of the previous year it was not for that year so she forged that receipt she did not deposit that money she did not go to that bank that friday so this money was a fraud so guys i found myself in a situation that i really didn't know what to do the supervisor told me the thing we can do we should go to this woman the leader and talk to her ask her politely how to pay back that amount but it was really a big big amount of money so we entered into the car and drove to the leader's house when you arrived we found her at home we told her we are from the bank and they told us the money was not deposited. She was like, no, it's not true. I deposited the money myself. Maybe this bank teller is just trying to play a game. But me, myself, I deposited that money and I even can recall the face of the bank teller. If you want, we can go together. But right now I'm very busy, I cannot go now. Maybe on Monday, you can come and we go together to see that bank teller because I know him, I know his face, I deposited that money. The woman really insisted. So we really got confused who is lying, the bank teller or the leader. We told her, okay, we will come on Monday to, talk to, to take us to the bank. But if you really took that money and used it for other things, please think of paying it. We don't know what you will sell, but make sure that you return this money. And if you really forged the bank document, then you are in trouble because it is illegal. She told us, no, I can assure you I deposited the money. But guys, when we are sitting there, because I knew this leader's house, because I used to go there due to the work, because our meeting was held near her house, next to the house. So I saw a lot of new things in her house. She had a new fridge, a refrigerator, it was new. She had a new gas cook. She had, what else did she buy? 
she had a new sofa everything was new in that house suddenly so something told me she took that money maybe to buy everything in her house so we told her please think of how you can pay this money she told me i am not paying anything because i did not take the money it is the bank teller so we left and my supervisor told me when we left when we were in the car that we should think of going to the police to report this matter so guys i returned home very tired and really frustrated in the evening at around six i received a call from this leader she told me you think you're very clever i will show you who i am i told her where is this coming from she told me yes you think i took the money i did not take the money but i will show you who i am then she hung up i was like what is this what is she talking about so i just ignored her and continued with my business so sunday came on sunday around 4 p.m i received another call and it was the voice of the man she told me am i talking to haika i told him yes it is me she told me we have a complaint there is one woman who came to the police station to report to you i told i told him report me for what we ask you to report at the police station on monday morning i told him okay so he hung up and i had to call my supervisor and told her everything she told me okay we'll discuss it on monday when you come to office so but i was really like what is going on what did that woman tell the police why did they call me to the police station but i was not worried because you know when you are clean you are clean guys so <laughs> i was not worrying anything so monday came and i went to office i told everyone and they were like hey this woman took the money you should really go to the police when after that meeting with the police you should go to the police to report this matter because we think this woman took the money so my supervisor said i will accompany you to the police station to know what is going on what is the complaint <laughs> because they did not even say that the woman who reported me was the leader but i doubted maybe it is her but for what i did not know i thought maybe it is another woman because i was dealing with the community social work guys so we went to the police station so we arrived at the police station and i introduced myself that i got a call on sunday to report on monday they told me ah it is you i said okay give us your bag i was like why give us your bag i gave them my bag and they searched and searched and found that the copy of the receipt they told me you are under arrest i told them under arrest for what he told me you forged the bank document and you also took the money from the group group friday you took the money and you forged the, the document of the bank i was like no the story is not like that they did not give me the time even to explain myself my supervisor was there she was trying to explain everything but they never listened to her they told me to remove my shoes and open the door and put me in cell guys i cried i cried and cried inside the cell there were other women seated down because we're asked to sit down there are no seats you know <laughs> if you don't know in the cell there are no seats so i sat down and the policeman came and told me you will sleep here until tomorrow then we'll take you to court i was like but take me to court for what they told me you stay there 
so I stayed there inside the cell the other women <coughs> which were under arrest they were making stories and they started asking me why I am in the cell and I told them the story they said oh sorry another woman was like I am here and I don't regret anything I stabbed my husband hey another one was like I am here because I powered hot water on my husband oh my god <laughs> I got scared but I continued crying they told me you don't cry everything will be fine that is how the world is so outside my supervisor asked for my phone she took my phone and and called my brother because she looked for the numbers of my relatives and wrote called my brother and told my brother when she called my brother my brother the first thing he asked her was like is it true my sister took that money then the supervisor said it is not true because we know the whole story from the start she did not take that money but this woman just twisted the story and we don't know how we can do about it because as we can see she has bribed the police men so my brother was like give me some moment then i'll be there so guys when we go to the side of the group leader the group leader was there busy bribing group members to testify against me to say that they saw the group leader giving me the money to deposit to the bank so she bribed but not all of them she bribed some so these groups came to the police station they started talking even my supervisor heard what they were talking about but the ones which were not bribed talked to the supervisor and told her that we believe the officer is very innocent and the supervisor told them that i too i know she is innocent so the policemen started interviewing the side that was on the side of the group leader so they started interviewing interviewing and <laughs> one funny thing some group members were drunk so they started telling the truth that I am here, I don't know even what I'm talking about. We saw our officer giving the group leader the money to deposit to the bank. But the group leader bribed us so that we can come and testify against her. So they started telling the truth because they were drunk guys. So they continued intervie interviewing them and Three hours passed, then my brother arrived. When my brother arrived, talked to the policeman. This policeman was in charge of the case. <laughs> Very funny. He was a friend to my brother. So when my brother arrived, told him that, how comes my sister is in the cell? Then the policeman told him that, which sister? Then <laughs> my brother told him, my name then the policeman said ah, i didn't know i didn't know that she was your sister she did not tell me her second name really she's your sister let me go and get her so the policeman came right away and opened the cell and took me out of the cell but before that some time back some few hours before this policeman was telling me that we will meet in the court. I am a very bad girl. I forged everything. I took the money. I am a thief. He called me all sorts of names. But suddenly he changed and started smiling, telling me that why I did not tell him my real name, my not my real name, my whole name, the two names, my surname and my name. I told him nothing. I did not tell him. I did not talk because when I'm angry, I don't talk. I always cry, but I don't talk. That is my character. So guys, he took me out and when I saw my brother, I started crying a lot and hugged him. So this policeman started talking to my brother and 
told my brother everything that this woman bribed <laughs> gave the money and also they had sex can you imagine guys so that i can be put to jail and even go to court and she wins the case so that she can destroy my life completely but this policeman opened up because my brother was a friend you guys imagine if that policeman wasn't my brother's friend just imagine what could have happened so guys after that i was taken out of the police station and returned to office so guys i returned to office i was really angry i was sad because being in cell guys it isn't a thing to joke about it isn't a good luck for me i consider it as a bad luck i really felt bad we returned to office and everyone was like sorry and i really thank god that the whole team believed me you imagine if no one believed that i was innocent it means my story could have ended guys my life could have ended i could have lost my job and lost everything just because of that so after that the next friday i had to go back to that group and we changed the leaders and even that group leader did not appear to the group so we changed the whole leadership and we chose the new leaders we also planned on how we can get the money back so we reached an agreement that we are going to take everything from that woman we'll go to her house with the policeman and the local government leaders so that we can take everything and sell them and return the money even if it won't be all because it was really a very big amount of money so that is what we did we took everything from her even the fridge she bought everything guys and we had to auction them and we returned the money but not all we returned some and guys everyone was advising me to open a case to that woman but i did not want anything to do with the police again being at the police station i did not want all that so that is what happened that is why i was in jail for three hours it was really a bad moment of my life and a very bad experience guys i don't want and i don't wish even for my enemy to go through that depression because it was really a depression moment so guys i really hope you enjoyed this video you've learned something new i really hope you found this story very interesting please give it a thumbs up if you've liked this video also comment what you think about this video share with your friends your family also subscribe to my channel and watch my other videos too see you in my next video i love you so much ciao ciao